fire up, Linmar. This is a special homecoming edition of LMPV News. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. On behalf of all faculty, staff, and administration, I want to take a moment to emphasize our expectations during next week's homecoming celebration. During the school day, even though many of you will be dressed a little differently than usual, the focus must remain on what takes place in the classroom. Have fun and enjoy the events at school, but remember that teachers will continue to challenge and engage everyone during class time. And I also want to make a point about student behavior outside of school. You are expected to act as mature young adults at all times during the week when you're representing Linmar. Destruction or marring of property and reckless and unsafe behavior in the name of homecoming week are unacceptable and in direct contrast to the intent of the celebration. We expect to have a great week and involve the entire district in the festivities. Do your part to make for a great celebration and thank you for your efforts in doing so. And as always, remember, go Lions. Gustafson. Here's a look at everything else you need to know about Homecoming 08. Joining us is Tia and Liz from Student Council. This year's Homecoming is going to be bigger and better. As you know, we've been planning this for months. Let's start with the dress up days of the week. Monday is Pajama Day, Tuesday is Hip Hop Day, Wednesday is Clash Day, Thursday is Rockstar Day, and Friday is Show Your Spirit Day. There will be a pr prize awarded each day. Tell us about that. There will be a winner from each class and from the faculty each day. Winners will get a gift certificate from Student Council. The winners will be announced the following day on LMTV. And this year's homecoming means the return of the Penny Wars. Yes, the proceeds will go to the Cedar Rapids Flood Relief. Here's how it works. There will be four jars, one in each grade. Pennies counts towards the total in the jar, but get this, any other coin or bill counts against. So if you put a dollar in someone else's jar, you subtract 100 from their total? That's right. The jars will be in the four corners before school Monday and Wednesday, and in the lower commons Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be back with more details of Homecoming right after this. Linmar Homecoming 2008. Come join us Thursday, October 2nd, 2008. Watch the Homecoming Parade at 5 o'clock. There is also a new route this year starting at Indian Creek. Following the parade, don't forget to meet at Armstrong for the coronation and the Powder Puff Game. This year, we'll watch Thunder and Lightning go head-to-head -head on Armstrong Field. See you there! Welcome back. As they mentioned in the commercial, the route for the parade has changed. Yes, because of construction on McGowan, the parade will start and wrap up at Indian Creek. That's next Thursday, starting at 5 p.m. After the parade, it's the coronation of the homecoming king and queen at Armstrong Field. Then the powder puff game. It's definitely a game worth watching, and this year the JV Palms and Cheerleaders will perform at the halftime at the powder puff game. That's all next Thursday. Tell us about Friday and Saturday. The homecoming pep assembly is next Friday at 2.40. Then it's the homecoming game against Prairie with the sophomore game at 5 and varsity to follow. Saturday wraps up homecoming week with the, with the dance from 8 to 11 in the, in the main gym. If someone is bringing a date that does not attend Linmar, remind everyone what they need to do. You must sign them up at the main office by Monday. No middle school students or anyone over the age of 20 is allowed at high school dances. If anyone has any questions about that, they should stop by the main office. Um, there's a new event this year. It's spirit competition. Explain that. It's a friendly competition between the classes. Throughout homecoming week, there will be opportunities for your class to earn points towards a very special grand prize. The winning class will be announced at the pep assembly next Friday. Tell, tell us some of the ways you can earn points. By participating in dress-up days, hall decorating, showing up at homecoming week events, ranging from the crowd, the course event at Linmar Cross Country Invitational to the marching band invitational on Saturday. There's also a way a class can lose points, right? Yes. Anyone who gets in trouble with the administration or police during homecoming week can result in a loss of points for their class. Tia and Liz, thanks for joining us. Remember, Student Council is looking for 15 people from each grade to help decorate for homecoming week. They will meet after school on Friday. If you can help, sign up in the main office. Thanks for watching this LMTV homecoming special. If you have any questions about homecoming 08, check out the posters throughout the building. Stay tuned for today's edition of LMTV News, next.